Hey sportsman, John Bergsma here at the Outdoorsman Pro Shop in Jenison, Michigan. We've got several reports for you this week. Uh, today, Wednesday, we're going to uh, open up with a couple of really good Upper Peninsula reports. We're going to start in the Marquette area, talking to Mike Cosiera from Marquette Adventures Guide Service. Uh, all kinds of stuff going on in Marquette. Then from there, we're going to go to the town of Curtis, the Manistee Lakes Recreation Area. We're going to talk about mixed bag fishing. The walleye fishing started out with a really good bang. So we've got a couple of great reports for you. Stay tuned here on Fisherman's Digest. Hey guys, we're talking about the Upper Peninsula on this week's reports, starting out in the county of Marquette. Now Mike Cosiera from Marquette Adventures uh, tells me that the fishing has been astronomical up there in Marquette during this early season, now that spring has finally taken hold. So what do we got going on? Well, we got a multiple different fisheries going on. On the big lake, on Lake Superior, we've got some really good lake trout fishing that's happening from Marquette all the way through the Autrain area to Laughing Whitefish Point. A lot of lakers being caught mid-depths, maybe 60 down in 90 to 120 feet of water. Now the laker fishing has been traditional laker fishing, and that's riggers, divers, and uh, copper lines, uh, just a spread of all of them. Also, leave a couple of high, leave a couple of coppers out 125. It seems like there's been a decent bite also for some occasional silverfish. Now, again, the shoreline from Marquette towards the east uh, all the way around the tip of Laughing Whitefish Point is the spot there. Now, when we talk to Mike Cosiera from Marquette Adventures, he does a lot of fishing slash family adventures, even echo tours, looking at waterfalls and very fun stuff. He says the walleye fishing in a lot of the smaller lakes there in the Marquette area has been very good between nine and 14 feet. There's a combination of ways to catch those fish. You can either cast with uh, jigs and twister tails tipped with live bait, you can also troll small crankbaits like Hot and Tots or the Walleye Nation Creation Number no. Five Wacky uh, uh, Shaky Shad. That's been good. Uh, also, dry fly fishing has been very, very good on the streams. Uh, it's just the perfect time of the year. There's a good hatches going on, so dry fly fishing has been really, really going good. Now, if you're looking for panfish and bass, most of the inland lakes now are starting to see the bluegills on the beds. The bass have just finished up their spawning right now in the Upper Peninsula, and they're on the first break, the transition-like break, in the defense mode, trying to, do, the smaller ones stay on the bed, but the big ones stay somewhat close, so you can still catch those. Uh, casting some Strike King swim baits, the 325s in white or baby bass, which is green pumpkin and pearl. Uh, that seems to be a really, really good color. It looks a lot like a rock bass. And so that's the reason they hit that swim bait very good. So a 325 swim bait, uh, striking swim bait in green pumpkin and pearl is a great rock bass imitator. And I'll tell you what, largemouth bass and smallmouth bass hate rock bass because they raid their nests. Angler Quest pontoons are better than ever. The big water fishing machines are wider. The tubes are bigger for more stability and safety. There's a new rail system that's stronger and more functional. The Bimini is redesigned, and the extended transom makes landing those big fish easier. Plus, the AnglerQuest furniture package offers more style and comfort. The 2022 lineup of AnglerQuest boats is the best yet, and they're the hottest fishing pontoons on the water. For more details, go to the website anglerquestpontoons.com. AnglerQuest, built with purpose. Now, if we want to switch gears and go to a different area, let's head on over to the Manistique Lake Recreation Area, which is in Curtis. Now, Curtis has got two, actually three lakes, Big Manistique Lake, South Manistique Lake, and North Manistique Lake. Well, the two bites going on right now are really good mixed bag fishing on Big Manistique and South Manistique. So on Big Manistique, the walleyes are biting in and around the weed beds from Burnt Island North up into the Helmer Bay. Uh, a lot of guys are catching them either on slow death rigs or dragging jigs and minnows. Either way works really good in and around the weeds. Uh, crankbait trolling hasn't really taken off yet as the system is just a little bit behind. Now if you go to South Manistique Lake, 
There's really good largemouth bass fishing. There's also good crappie fishing and bluegill fishing. The smallmouth, smallmouth and largemouth, primarily largemouth bass on South Lake have been setting up on the first weed line transition break in the lake. The bluegills and crappie have been setting up in shallow water pencil reeds and in the shallower weed beds that are in and around South Manistique Lake. If you're looking for great information or bait, both the fish and hunt shop in Curtis and mix bait have good bait and also have great information. If you're looking for a great time, head on up to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. There's lots of great stuff happening right now. Domka Outdoors in Monroe is Southeast Michigan's one-stop sporting goods destination. Featuring all your fishing needs, including live bait and the area's largest selection of custom painted banded crankbaits. Domka Outdoors has a large selection of guns and ammunition, archery equipment and supplies, as well as an archery service department and indoor archery range. Stop by today or shop our online store. So hey, Thanks for joining us today. Like I said, we're here at the Outdoorsman Pro Shop in Jenison, Michigan. They have got this place stocked to the gills with lots of product. If you're looking to get out before your family vacation, know this, that not every sports shop around the state has got good supplies of all the things you might need, especially if you head north. So you'll wanna stop into your local bait shop. For me, that's the Outdoorsman here in Jenison, Michigan. and. Uh, grab the items that you're sure you're going to use, whether it's swim baits or, or drop weights or all the little things that can be a real pain in the neck if you get to a location and the small town bait shop doesn't have it. So check out the Outdoorsman, check out their shop in Sparta, and we'll see you tomorrow on Fisherman's Digest. <laughs>